Of course, this was a bit of a simple intro quiz here. Yeah, probably that's not a good idea. <laughs> Making anybody take this course is a very good idea, but of course, actually, you're the computer scientist, so you're supposed to be the one knowing about NP completeness, especially after having taken this course. You probably shouldn't say it's impossible. A better answer would be to say it's been proven to be impossible. But I think that after this unit, you'll agree that the best possible answer is actually to say, well, it's been proven difficult or extremely difficult. But we can actually try to solve this problem, even though it is NP-complete. And I will show you how to approach that. The thing is this, there are so many NP-complete problems that are practically relevant, that over the past years, extremely clever algorithms have been developed for these problems. They have been developed for vertex cover, for click, for independent set, for the shortest tour problem, for sat, and so on. Knowing about these problems can really make you stand out as a problem solver, because many people, as I said, will give up once they know their problem to be NP-complete. You should respect NP-completeness, so maybe not be all smiling when you encounter NP-complete problems, although it's nice to know that they are happy, but you know, when they're solving their problem, be respectful, but there's no need to be unhappy or scared of NP-completeness.